Okay, here's some information over to the right that seems to show that these values for A sub zero of the initial population uh, K uh, are correct because when T is 15, the population is 500. And when T is 40, it's 1700. So the question is, where did I come up with all these? Well, the 515 minutes and the 1740 minutes uh, lot, give enough information to allow us to find the values for a sub zero and k in this exponential function right here. Uh, normally, when we have two equations and two unknowns, we either use uh, the elimination method or the substitution method. <clears throat> but another technique that sometimes works is to divide one equation by the other one. And that works here because if I divide this first equation by the second equation, I get 17 fifths on this side. A sub zero over A sub zero is one. So I get E to the 40 T divided by E to the 15 T. But that E to the 40 T divided by E to the 15 T is actually e to the 40t minus e to the 15t, uh, minus 15t. So I can rewrite that this way, e to the 40t minus 15t. Oh, but guess what that is? That's just 25t. So instead of writing it again, I'll just replace that with 25t. Okay. Now, if I take the natural log of both sides, over here I'll get the natural log of e to the 25t, but I can bring that exponent down. Uh, I'm sorry, this should be k's, not t's. I know t. It's K that I'm trying to evaluate. So I'll get 25K here. The natural log of E is just 1. So K equals 25, or natural log of 17 fifths, which you could write as the natural log of 17 minus the natural log of 5. And I'll just leave it like that. You can evaluate that on your calculator. Uh, there's K right there, 0 0.049. Uh, now to find the initial value, I have to put this value in for K in one of these two equations and solve for A sub zero. So if I put that value in for K, I'll do it right here, uh, 500 equals a sub zero times, or no, yeah, times e to the, k is the log of 17 fifths. Divided by 25. And this happens when t is 15. So I actually get 15 25ths. And if I divide both sides by this expression, right here, I get that a sub zero equals 500 over e to the 15 25ths is the same as 3 fifths, ln of 17 fifths. And you could calculate it that way in your calculator. You might want to know how I got to this expression right here. Well, I just moved this exponent using properties of logarithms up here. And then e to the law, natural log of anything is the anything. So 17 fifths 
raised to the three fifths. So it's 500 divided by that. And there's your initial value. Okay. So that answers this question, 239, 240. Find the doubling period. Well, that just means uh, when is this value twice a sub zero. So if I put two a sub zero here equals a sub zero times e, I'll just leave it e to the kt for right now. The a sub zeros cancel out. We take the natural log of both sides equals uh, kt natural log of e is one so t equals a log of natural log of two divided by k but k is this expression right here so there's the doubling time right there natural log of two divided by k where k has this value 0 0.049 <clears throat> so it looks like the doubling time is like 14.16 and i put the d into the table at 15 the culture had 500 uh, count if I go another D, D minutes the population doubles so the doubling time is this D right here and I did it again here 40 has 1740 plus D 3400 uh, so D the doubling time is 14.16 uh, find the population after 120 minutes we put 120 in for T into our formula, and it looks like uh, 85,346. <laughs> and finally, when will the population reach 11,000? You've got to put 11,000 in for A sub T, divide by A sub zero, take the natural log of both sides, and then divide by K. And that's how long it will take the population I use W for when will the population reach 11,000. And there's W, 11,000. So 17. So you have to do a lot of this work on your calculator to get these decimals. But hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, post a comment.